Hello, this is TurboDog702 for the Castlevania Symphony of the Night Any% Percent tutorial. In this section, I will be covering some of the more advanced mechanics dealing with the character Richter Belmont. While many of these techniques may not be useful inside of the Any% Percent route for Alucard, they can be useful for people who are trying to explore the Richter Any% Percent routes or Richter All Bosses routes, so they should be covered. I am not a Richter player by any stretch of the imagination at the time of making this video, so you'll have to forgive me if I make some execution errors during the making of this. Over time, I will try to update with addendums on this if there are techniques that I feel have been omitted or that get discovered. But for now, let's hop into the game. I will be covering um, how momentum is different when you do a slide or an air slash against a slope. I will be covering jump slashing, which is a way to alter your air height while air slashing to maintain it or to change direction. I will also be covering how you can change your slide momentum off of ledges. Uh, I will also discuss how your inputs become locked after doing a super jump which hits you onto the roof. And I will also discuss the knife weapon crash cancel, which can be helpful for bosses particularly in the Richter All Bosses route or in the Any% percent route on the PlayStation X version. So let's hop in. Okay, the first thing that I would like to cover, since I have access to the hearts on me immediately, is I'll cover the knife uh, weapon crash cancel. Uh, most weapon crashes can only be canceled under very specific circumstances, however the knife weapon crash is an exception. The reason you might use the knife weapon crash is certain bosses, um, it is the preferred method of destroying them, such as Gallimoth inside of the second castle. This is because it has a large amount of damage that it can deal to opponents, it makes you invincible during the whole time like all weapon crashes, and the invincibility is extended for long periods of time. The knives can also critical, which is an exception to all of the other sub-weapons to my knowledge. In order to do the crash cancel, it's very simple. Doing the crash, and then jumping. This can be helpful as you can use it to stop your weapon crash so that you do not need to continue doing it should the boss die. Uh, during the middle of one of them, and you can continue to move on at a or at a faster rate. The next thing that I will cover, your inputs, after super jumping and hitting a ceiling, your inputs are locked uh, for doing an air slash for about 4 frames after hitting the roof. Castlevania Symphony of the Night runs at 60 frames per second, which means that there are 60 frames of animation uh, in between each second that you play the game. So that means you cannot do the air slash inputs too quickly after hitting the roof of a super jump, or else it will fail to activate. This makes it particularly difficult to reach into places such as this, right above me, as your air slash inputs are locked for a vast majority of the time that you would need in order to get through it. There are places where this is extremely important to master, such as in the zigzag room and the reverse keep in the Ulrox quarters, in which you rapidly, in order to get through the room quickly, must do super jumps into air slash change inside tight areas such as this one. Another thing to take into account is how slide momentum is changed based on what your inputs are when you do it off of a ledge. The first two instances I will use on this ledge. If you slide, and hold down forward as you're falling, you will notice that Richter takes a very distinct and sharp dive downward when he reaches the end of the ledge. If instead I bring my inputs to neutral, you'll notice that Richter slides a significant distance further. While this may be small to a casual observer or the casual player, sometimes this is very important when planning the amount of air slashes you will need to do or planning your super jump trajectories. This is further exacerbated if you use the whip hold ability to hold your whip out. Using this ability can allow you to maintain your air momentum, or even using the whip in general to some extent. I will show that somewhat now. So this is me while holding a diagonal while falling. You'll notice that I do not even reach this section. If I neutral after it, I get almost on top of it. 
Very close, actually. However, if instead I decide to brandish my whip, you'll see that my momentum is carried over into the whip for a far, or for a decent portion of that, and I actually end up falling on top of the stair. This can be useful in certain parts of the run, such as inside the Slogger Gaibon room. The next thing that I would like to cover is that is jump slashing. The basic principle is that after an air slash, you are actually able to jump afterward, and you can do small jumps or large jumps in any direction. As you can see, I can jump slash uh, to the left and actually jump right, meaning that it is not locked to the particular direction that you're moving in. It's unfortunate that I'm hitting this ledge. <laughs> Wow, I am bad at this, apparently. <laughs> there we go. So you see that I can jump right, even though I'm going left. You can also move left, of course, or any of the like. This can be particularly useful in certain sections of the castle where you would like to redirect your air momentum without using a full super jump. This actually allows you, while you're doing this jump, you're considered airborne just as you are with any jump, or with the backflip, or after vaulting and recovering off of it. What is useful about this is that if you input a jump slightly before doing another air slash after chaining it, you will actually be able to maintain your height uh, during long air slash change. Normally, if you air slash over and over again, you will successively lose height just over the course of the air slashes. By using a jump input very quickly before you input the next air slash, you can actually do a micro jump before doing the next air slash, which allows you to gain some height back. There I did a very, very slight jump, and it managed to just maintain my height just enough. Using this technique, you can actually increase your height inside of a jump if you practice this appropriately. And I'm going to try a few times to be able to do it, although I am not practiced in it. Yeah, there's another example of a micro jump. If you get used to it more and more, you can start to get higher and higher off of this, even when you're maintaining your jump momentum. You can maintain it or make small adjustments up, which gives you a lot more air mobility and a distinct advantage when trying to chain together air slashes in a particularly long hallway. Um, other Richter players to watch do this include Mecha Richter, Zex, that's with seven X's, I believe, and... Uh, Zosti. There are other Richter players that you could easily see that do this technique as well. So if you're ever wondering how they gain slight uh, height while they're air slashing, that is how they do it. And there are different techniques to be able to do it, I'm just not practiced in them. The last thing that I would like to do, I'm going to open up a state in order to show this particular thing off, is to show that your momentum is different based on if you're on a slope or not. If you're on a slope, it is very difficult to actually slide while on a slope. You tend to normally jump when you do it. You'll also notice that when I try to slide, I do not slide down the full length of my slide. I almost stop at the slope. You'll also see that if I do end up sliding on the slope, that I go only a very short distance. Another thing to keep in mind is that when you do slash, you follow slopes. This works for both the ground slash and the air slash. This can be particularly important if you would like to redirect yourself in certain ways, or if you would like to avoid changing your direction based on that. That should cover most of the advanced techniques that I would like to cover inside of this video for Richter. Um, this has been TurboDog702 for the Castlevania Any% Route for Richter Advanced Mechanics.